Welcome to Redstone class. Today I'm going to go over powered rails, show you the basics, and show you some tricks, and then you're going to have some homework. I hope you're ready for it because they're easy to use, so it's going to be a challenge. So the first thing to know is how to power them, and you can power them like you would any other block. Anything they're on top of that's powered, or if redstone power is next to them, they'll be powered. And so you can power them from beneath, you can power them from above. So that's the basics powering them. Something else you should know about powering them is that when you power one, it powers up to eight blocks. And so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight will be powered in each direction, which means you can have up to 17. I could go eight this way and eight this way in addition to this one right here. And so that would let you have 17 power just from one redstone source. And so that's something useful to know if you wanted to use a lot of them. So let's talk about mine cards. So right here, you know that they will stop when they're on one that is off. But in addition to that, you need to know that it takes a while for them to get to max speed. And if they are at max speed, they can sail right over these that are supposed to stop them. So you've got to have at least two or three to ensure you want to stop. But you can use that to make a one-way rail. Now this is a review from last time with detector rails, but this is an important trick to know because you can have a one-way rail this way. So it'll stop this way, but it'll go this way. So over here, I have an example of when you're going vertical. So if you don't know, one every three blocks, or every four and having three in between, is going to be how often you need to have them for them to be able to continually go upward. And so that's important for making sure that you're transferring things. Um, because it's actually very difficult to make it go up a slope very far. You might be able to get up, build up a lot of speed beforehand, but if you don't have one regularly, you're going to have a hard time getting up to the top. And so if I were to do that, even if I were to do one like every so often with it going really fast, it's going to wear off speed so quickly that you wouldn't be able to make it up from your mine up to the, up to the surface. So here's something else you should know, which is that while they will sit, while they will sit stationary, if it overlaps with a block, it will automatically move, and this can cause permanent movement because it will bounce off of it. Now this does not apply to glass. So if I were to put glass right here, I could put this here and it would stop. This is useful to know when you're setting traps for TNT minecarts and so forth. But whenever there's a block like this, and it's funny because it doesn't even stop you from placing this new block down, but that is something that you should be aware of because you can create infinite sources. So this is the most popular trick, and this is going to be the basis of your homework, which is I want you to understand how to do an item un unloader like this. And when we do your homework, I want you to do an item loader. I want you to take this design, let's take out these, and when it's done, it's going to go out like that. So I, let me, let's just put one in, or two in, we'll just put a few in. And when I say go, it'll come. As soon as it's empty, it'll be done loading. So this is a very important thing to know how to do. And so all you do is you take a comparator out of a hopper, and whenever it's pulling items out, this is going to have a signal. And you put that into this torch, and then forward that back in. And so by having that inverted, if there's any items in it, it'll shut off and grab it. So for your homework, take a hopper instead and put a hopper on top like this, and then have it detect based on that hopper and make it stop it. And so this is a test of your ability to be able to turn off powered rails and turn them back on at the right time. And so see if you can manage that. Figure out how to make a loader instead of an unloader. All right, that's it. Class is dismissed.